Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batiste, and I have a trade idea for you today. March 14th, 2024. But first, let's see what the market's doing. E mini SPs. Well, they're down 16 handles right now. They've had a good range of about 40 points today. That's top to bottom. Uh, right around mid-range, maybe the skosh to the lower side. NASDAQ down 39. And the leader to the downside, Russell, down 37 and a half points. That's almost one and three quarters, a little bit more percent to the downside. Well, the rest of the market, as you can see here, basically unchanged. Dow down 124. And volatility trading near its highs up 36 cents, trying to kind of take a little bit away from the bulls today uh, with a little bit of volatility increasing in the overall market. Bitcoin down by about 2,200 today, flirting with that 70,000 number, 70,800 uh, right now. Oil is up 90 cents and gold finally selling off uh, for the first time in what seems like a, an eternity down $22 and change. All right, what are we going to look at today? Well, I've had a stock on my mind uh, for quite some time. I've done well with it uh, in the past, and I'd like to do uh, well with it again today. So what I did here was I put the IVX index five-day change in highest to lowest order. I like, and the reason why I like this number to be green and expanding when I'm putting on a trade well, I mean, my assumption is that volatility is expanding. Volatility is more mean reverting than price. If volatility is expanding when I'm putting it on, hopefully, obviously, we have theta decay day by day by day. But if we also could get a little bit of a bump by volatility contracting after putting on this trade, we make a little bit of money on that kind of nuance of the math model, too. IV rank, I prefer to have a higher IV rank. I like those stocks that are, that are kind of... Um, uh, more volatile. Boeing, IV rank of 55 is high. It has earnings after expiration 424. I like to avoid expiration if I, I'm sorry, avoid earnings. It has earnings of 424. I like to avoid earnings uh, if I can when I'm placing a trade. IVX five day change up almost two and a half percent over the last five days going into expanding vol. Now this is one way of looking at it. When you go to the chart, you can see it right here. This on the bottom here is IVR high and low, the red and the green. You can get this by going to uh, your indicators. Click on your indicators and it's the first one up there. It's just IVR. Once you put that on there, um, you add selected and then you click uh, save and you'll then have your IVR high, low, like I have it down here on my platform. A lot of people like to keep it a little bit lower or smaller so you don't have to see it as much. I like to um, keep it a little bit higher so it could be a little bit more dramatic or a little bit wider for you, so it'll be a little bit more dramatic. You can see Boeing is on its butt. When I placed this trade, Boeing was actually up a dollar. I was thinking about going a little bit bullish on this trade, so I'll show you two, but I only made one. So the first trade that I did not make was a little bit more bullish, so if you're bullish, uh, you might want to look at this trade. If you're more neutral, you'll look at the trade that I placed uh, just a moment ago. And I was really brought, this was brought to my attention by the research team today when they looked at an iron condor and they were able to collect one third the width of the strikes um, being further out of the money than normal. When you're looking at an iron condor, you typically have to go to around the, especially $5 wide, you have to go around that 30-ish delta option to collect one third the width of the strikes. And here you can see it collecting a lot more uh, just to put this a little bit further out for you, I'll keep it here. You can go around the 20-ish delta, 27 and 22, maybe even a little bit further out if you want to. But those are a little bit less, uh, uh, a little bit more risk adverse. If you want to do a small little iron condor, uh, this was something I think Anton brought it up today, where because of the skew on the call side, actually, um, you're getting paid a little bit more. You're able to go a little further out on your iron condor and still collect around one third of the width of strikes. You can play with these strikes uh, yourself to see where what works best for you to collect that one third of the width of strikes. There you go, just around a dollar sixty. But that's not the trade I'm going to make. If you were a little bit bullish, I was looking at a ratio spread, a one by two put ratio spread. I know if this put ratio spread, uh, if the stock goes to 165, you make five bucks, but that's not my goal of this. What I'm trying to do is collect this credit on an up move. You can see here that there's no risk to the upside uh, because you're doing this for a 65 cent credit. The downside, your break even, would be just below 160. 
uh, because you're collecting around 60 some odd cents. That was one trade I was looking at. I was actually going to go a little bit closer to the 175, 170 because, again, my goal is not to make the $5 with a pin in Boeing if, at 170 If I was looking to do that, I'd probably do a butterfly or something like that. Uh, my goal is to make this uh, amount of money that, that I'm using as a credit here. You could also go up to the 180, 170. That's a debit. You might have to go one by three on this type of trade. Uh, because I need to collect a little bit more money. He's going to use a lot more capital too, almost $5,000. But those are bullish trades, bullish Delta uh, 24. But since uh, Boeing was no longer at its lows, around 181 and change, and when I put this trade on, it was closer to 183, I'll show you what I did. I did a straight strangle in here. I've got money sitting on the sidelines. I need to put money into work. To work 22 Delta seems to be, from a lot of our research, that area of optimal uh, payback for you, meaning uh, the amount of money it costs you to put on the trade versus how much buying power you're using versus credit that you receive. Um, I'm looking at the 170 put 200 call in here. Uh, it's for 427 right now. Volatility actually just must have contracted a little bit. I did this when the stock was a little bit higher at 432. It's been oscillating around uh, around 430. And about 435, this is as low as I've seen it. Maybe when volatility, if volatility creeps up a little bit here, this will trade a little bit higher. I did this at $4.32. You can see I'm using $2,400 in buying power. Um, it does have about three long deltas in it. And that's why I'm surprised that it's a little bit um, lower than where I did it. And that's why I say volatility is contracting from the time that I put it on earlier today. Because the stock is lower and this has a small amount of of long delta in it. I get paid about $14 a day for that uh, uh, risk of, of $2,400 in buying power. And it's got that probability profit 67%, which I love to see. Anything over 65%, 60 if you want to stretch it. But that one standard deviation, 67% is what I like to see. This green line is your break even. You'll notice that you uh, um, are only uh, $12 away on your put, and it has the same delta as the call, basically, a few deltas off, but yet you're almost uh, $18 away to the upside. So signifying a little bit of call skew in Boeing, even though the stock hasn't had an uptick um, in what seems like forever. And you can see why I wanted to lean a little bit uh, long on this trade. But you know what? I'm going to let it, uh, let it, meaning the stock, beat me. My break even to the downside is $4 and change, depending on what you get on this. Under my strike of 170, let's just say 166 will round to make it a little bit worse for us. And our upside break even is going to be around $4 and change over our short strike. That's 200. So 204 uh, or so, thereabouts. How do I defend this trade? Well, if the stock were to go from, let's just say where it is right now, 182 down to around 178, 177, I would then just look to sell the 95, 200 call spread. Uh, how would I do that? I would just do it simply like this. Um, I would do it as one spread. Of course, it's not going to be trading for around a dollar, probably trading for around 60 cents or something like that. I might go down two strikes, but that's how I would kind of um, defend a trade like this. If it's going the opposite direction, then I would roll up the put side. So what I'm trying to do is when my delta gets to plus minus 15, meaning plus or minus, if the stock is going lower, obviously my delta is going to get longer and the stock is going higher, my delta is going to get shorter. When I get to plus minus 15, I roll up the untested side to bring my delta to around 5. So for argument's sakes, if the stock was to continue in its, in its present path, which is obviously to the downside, and I picked up 15 long deltas on this trade, I would roll down my calls until I was, uh, you know, as many strikes as I needed to, until I got around 5 deltas in my overall position. Max profit is obviously what you paid for this trade. Now, again, I know a lot of people watch this podcast, and I appreciate all your support. Please leave your comments down below on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. I try to do my best to answer them in a timely fashion. Uh, but I know a lot of you trade in an IRA account. This would use around $17,000 uh, in an IRA account. I told you in the past we like to simulate the same amount of buying power as a margin account. There's $2,500 or so. Again, just rounding. So I'm going to take a stab here and go $30 wide. Yes, you're just creating an iron condor on this or a synthetic strangle. Call it what you, what you want. Yes, it's an iron condor because it has four legs. 
But since you're going so far out and you're so far out of the money on this, I mean, these delta on this, the delta of this coming to fruition, meaning the stock being over 230 is less than 3%, and to the downside, it's less than 2%. So, I mean, you're really doing this to preserve capital. So if you were in an IRA account, your buying power effect was $17,000, you'd be using $2,600. I think it's a, a small price to pay, 40 cents or a little bit less, um, to be able to free up all of that buying power, 17000 to about 3000 or 2600 uh, that you see there. But I uh, have a little bit of money sitting in my account. I am in a margin account, so you can easily do this for 2500 bucks. If you missed this trade or you're watching it late, all you have to do anytime during the day on the Tasty Trade platform is go to the follow page. Um, you'll see my name up there, or you can just click on Bob the Trader, and we'll have all of my trades uh, on there, you could see uh, early this morning at uh, at 9:03. It looks like uh, sorry, yesterday um, I rolled up the untested side. If you had that position on my AMD position, would be giving me uh, just been wreaking havoc with uh, with my overall portfolio. Boeing, here's my trade. I did it for four dollars and thirty two cents. I told you the stock was around a dollar higher. It's right there in in white, 183.05. The IVR was 56. So I was correct. Um, implied volatility has come down. You can see how valuable that IV rank is when it when it contracts, works in your direction, or you can see how valuable it is uh, to pick it when it's high. Because here's a stock that has a little bit. Here's a, a strategy that has a little bit of long delta. The stock is actually lower, and the strategy is um, is working. So. Um, that's just math, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that's the trade I made, the 170, uh, 200. Here's the point of the show when I ask you to open, move, or transfer your account to Tasty Trade. Help us keep the lights on here. You've really come to bat for us, and we really, really do appreciate that to you. If you ever want to speak to me, you can email me. I'm just bat, B A T at tastylive.com. BAT was my acronym on the floor of the CBOE from uh, 1983 to about 2005. Uh, like, subscribe, help us out here uh, at Tasty Live by opening your account at Tasty Trade. We even give you back some sweet, sweet cash too uh, for just moving your account. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>